Hello, Kevin. Hi. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm gonna talk about Kevin's basketball biography, the co-captain of the Ole Miss University Basketball Club. Don't you wonder how Kevin managed to get to the co-captain position, how he overcome his short physical condition, and whether there was any war of discrimination he faced competing as an Asian American basketball player in the United States? Let's find out through the documentary. Let's go. So I was not involved with the men's club basketball team until actually last year. Uh, during my freshman and sophomore year and my junior year, I was not involved in the men's club basketball team, but last year I attended some of their practices and therefore and this semester I was promoted to co-captain with the club as a treasurer who basically manages all the accounting and all the funding issues for the club. And I think I got to today's position mainly through some of my hard work and being able to, to be recognized with my ability to manage organizations. Then you didn't do anything else? It's not what I expected. It's fun. Okay, keep going. I started playing basketball when I was 11. Uh -huh. So at that time, I was playing very simple basketball, so I was not well. I was a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Most of the basketball players around me, they started playing basketball at, at around five seven or, or seven, eight, eight right? Yeah, five, six, seven, uh -huh. eight, like that age, elementary school age. But I started in junior high age, and then I failed to make the team my seventh and eighth grade year. Uh huh. Uh, and then later on in high school, I was able to make the team, and then. I got to the college level, well not college level, but I uh, played a little bit club basketball in college. I was very skinny, so at that time my body and physical isn't like how it is now, so it was really tough when I was in high school, especially my physical, I, I'm, not, I'm not a very high jumper, uh, not super fast, so But overcome is just really practicing very hard and practicing. What what pra what focus to the practicing? I think in it's your time? I think it's like focusing on what I can use with my limited physical abilities. Like you do not need to be very tall or very strong to shoot. So I tend to, I started to focus my game around shooting uh -huh. because attacking the rim wasn't my. Um, I wouldn't say it was my best skill because my height ability, I can't jump very high, I can't, um, my body is, I also have like injury problems, I'm very injury prone so I've never really had that much explosiveness in my body, however so I started to focus on shooting and really practicing on shooting, I think shooting has become my biggest skill set. I don't remember how many times I shoot it but I remember when I was maybe around 13, 14, I used to like practice shooting around maybe three to four hours a day. Three to four hours a day? Yes. I see. So I used to practice shooting uh, like three to four hours a day and of course as time goes I got into college. The training time has definitely decreased with uh, my focus started to shift towards finding an academic career. So I think, but yes, in high school when I was available I used to practice three to maybe around three hours a day shooting. Nowadays, uh, when I saw you, uh, I just think about you're really focused to the making the muscle like that. It is related to the basketball playing like that? Well, at first it was. At first it was definitely trying to become stronger so I can um, blow past defenders easier and I can actually I have by, I receive body contact better. But as time went, I kind of shifted towards like trying to build a better physique. Just uh, like from a looks standpoint, I tried to build a better physique from there. And I think it has kind of shifted towards that way in trying to build muscle. And to a certain extent, I do think it has um, affected my shooting. Um, definitely for people, I think with maybe uh, like, like smaller or limited physical abilities where I know where shooting involves a lot of the shoulder 
However, people who do not have very strong shoulders, they cannot raise the ball up to a forehead standpoint and shoot it. They will lose the momentum. So I tend to focus on them, just focus on the push shots I first. See. Build the muscle memory there first and then later shift their focus into fixing and adjusting the shot mechanics to how they their body would adjust to. Playing basketball as someone who had, doesn't have the gifted uh, skill sets, I mean, the gifted skills of like physical abilities. So therefore, you have to learn how to play in a way that's a little bit different to others. You have to learn how to play with more of your brain, but and then that is also a very important piece. Uh, playing with IQ, however. It was, IQ takes time to develop, it takes time and experience to develop. So starting off late and everything, I do think that was definitely the part of, that was the hardest for me, actually learning how to find the right game for mm -hmm. me. Because starting off late, my experience kind of took off a little bit slower than other people who started at five, six, seven, or eight, they, those young ages. So that was to me was the hardest part. Discrimination. Oh, discrimination. Uh, Chabir? Oh, uh -huh. oh, of course. Oh, so can you tell me about that kind of thing and how you overcome that kind of thing? So it was it's, uh, very. It's, it's kind of tough because because discrimination it kind of hinders your mental ability. Uh -huh. So I, at that time, as I said earlier, I was trying to figure out how to play with my play with my IQ and my my brain. Uh, through basketball because my physical ability was limited but however definitely running into like discrimination issues that kind of hinders your mental ability therefore I remember at some times um, basketball has become a little bit hard for me just because I don't feel like I can play the right way because my physical ability is not there and also um, learning the IQ was actually very hard because at that time um, I think it's easier to pick and choose who you want to attack. So if people see like, oh, he's a very skinny person or he's a skinny Asian on the court, they will try to attack him on purpose. And also going into other hostile environments, you hear very a lot of different noises. So to me, that also kind of hindered my ability to, I think, really play basketball the way I wanted. Until I got to college where I felt Oh, I don't have that much pressure anymore. I just want to, because I want to shift my goals to a better academic career. So I think after I took the mindset of playing basketball just for fun and more freely, I think I actually became a better oh. player through that.